Did you enjoy Skyrim? What about Fallout? Mass Effect? Dragon Age? These massive open world RPGs wouldn't have been possible without their ancestors. Baldur's Gate, Planetscape Torment, Icewind Dale, Wasteland, Fallout 1 and 2, etc. If these games ring a bell, then you know what I'm talking about. Isometric RPGs. These old school RPGs have come back thanks to the miracle of crowdfunding. It started with Wasteland, then Pillars of Eternity, and so many more. Their massive success showed the public and game companies especially that this genre was not dead at all. Since then, we had many more, and from this new wave of isometric RPGs came one title that had surpassed all expectations and became one of the greatest RPGs of all time. I'm talking about Divinity Original Sin 2. It's a sequel to the acclaimed Divinity Original Sin, another great isometric RPG game on its own right. However, as good as this game was, it was only the blueprint for something so much greater. Divinity Original Sin 2 improves every single aspect of the original game, but this is no mere polish. If the original game was a temple, this is a cathedral. There's just too much to praise, but for the sake of brevity, we are going to stick to the most important points. It wouldn't be a great RPG if the story didn't deliver, and oh boy does it deliver. The basic story takes place centuries after the first game. The land is ravaged with wars and religious persecution. A great bishop declares that all sorcerers are dangerous criminals that should be locked away. And so a group of four sorcerers embark on a quest to stop him. It deals with issues like intolerance, injustice, vengeance, and much more with masterfully fully voiced dialogues and excellent narration. That said, what is a great steak without some tasty side servings? As good as the main story is, the real experience lies in the side quests. Conversations with suspicious rats, fights with fire slug kings, and many more. No character is safe from death, and side quests can be locked if the NPC dies, but not the main quest, which speaks volumes of freedom this game offers. Although the player has the chance to create their own characters from zero, it's recommended to try one of the pre-generated characters, as they have more options available in terms of story and dialogue. The player has complete freedom to choose their skills and the classes of their companions. The story can also be enjoyed in cooperative mode if you trust your fellow players to not ruin your story. The game has a gorgeous world for you to explore. Isometric RPG doesn't necessarily mean boring or static landscapes, and that is double true for this game. The world is a pleasure to look, like a carefully crafted painting, one that you can burn by the way. The world remains as interactive as ever. This last part bears mentioning because of how important it is for gameplay. Everything matters in some way, from positioning to the nature of the surface where the characters are standing. In the vast majority of RPGs, you can chat, fight, or stealth your way out of any encounter. This holy trinity has remained stable because it works. But what if you want to teleport your enemy to the other side of the island? Or maybe you could bring a boss to fight another boss. Or perhaps you just want to push the enemy into a lava pit. It challenges the player to defy conventions and create their own solutions. And once you finish the game, it doesn't end. The game includes a mode where a game master can craft an adventure or campaign with several tools, basically allowing a practically endless supply of DLC stories. If you're in the competitive mood, then perhaps the multiplayer arena mode is for you. Divinity Original Sin 2 is going into the pantheon of legends when it comes to RPGs. It's a game that will be talked about for generations to come. An excellent experience that will shake you with its stories and entertain you for hours with its clever gameplay. For that and so much more, this game more than deserves its rating. Now go and start playing it if you haven't already.